have you ever felt overwhelmed like there's so much around you or you're in a, such a situation that you feel helpless and you're wondering where will my help come from well i have a word to encourage you this lovely day this is destiny dailies and over the last couple of days we have been talking about the promises of god found in the book of isaiah chapter 41 i want to read for us verse 10 it says fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed for i am thy god I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee. It continues to say, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I love it. I want to focus on two aspects. I want to focus on help and I want to focus on his righteous right hand of righteousness. When I think about help, I think of two situations where you have so much to do, you need somebody to help you. It's kind of like Adam in the garden. God looked at him and he thought, mm -mm, you need a helper. Why? Because you're a man in purpose. You know where you're going and you need somebody to help you achieve what you need to achieve. And then there are other circumstances where you're just overwhelmed. I'm thinking about the guy in the story of the Good Samaritan, the man who was robbed and left for dead. He needed help. Now, whether you're a man, woman in purpose, you know where you're going, you need help. Whether you're one who is just overwhelmed, left for dead you need help and I love it because this scripture the Lord reminds us that he is our help I mean you think about it of all the people on the face of the earth which person would you like to help you the Lord says I am your help and so this morning I'm here to remind you you're not alone God is right there with you he says he is our help in the New Testament he tells us he will never leave us neither will he forsake us so whatever the situation is that he is making you feel overwhelmed or you feel like you've been left for dead mm -mm, imagine you're not alone God is right there with you he continues to say he will uphold you with his right hand of righteousness think about all the hands have you ever seen uh, uh, men who do weightlifting or bodybuilding or even women nowadays we have some serious women you look at that arm and you're thinking wow you can't even breathe think of all those strong hands which one would you think is the strongest it has to be god's and he says he will uphold you with his righteous right hand the right hand signifies power and then righteousness meaning there's no deceit in it there's no malice in it it is perfect in all its ways so not only is he helping you he is upholding you if god is upholding you nothing can shake you it's kind of like the parable of the two men who built their houses one who built his house on the sand and the other one built his house on the rock and when the storm came, it hit both houses, but the one that was built on the rock was left standing. Why? Because the Lord himself was upholding that house with his righteous right hand. It may be your marriage. It may be your business. It may be your self-esteem this morning. You woke up feeling like you're a nobody. I'm here to remind you, help is available. It is right next to you. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit who is our teacher, but most of all, he is our help. And by the way, if you are married, Mr. Husband, guess what? You have three helps. <laughs> God is saying he's helping you. Your wife is your helper. The Holy Spirit is always with you to help you. That tells me that God wants you to succeed in your purpose more than you even have thought of it. So this morning, don't hang your head low and think you're all alone nobody loves me this thing is too tough no hold your head up high like joseph know that you have help and you will conquer why because you and i are more than conquerors and conquerors go out there and they conquer and they take the land our help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth let's pray heavenly father i want to thank you even as we have been going through the book of Isaiah 41 and 10 and the promises contained therein, I thank you, my Father, that you are my help. I thank you, my Father, Lord, that you have never left us alone. You're always with us. You will uphold us with your righteous right hand. The enemy has nothing on us. He may give it his best shot, but Father, we are standing tall, standing firm, declaring some may trust in horses and chariots but we will trust in the name of the lord our god because our father in heaven is our helper we thank you 
we give you praise in jesus name we pray and everybody said amen so anytime you feel overwhelmed call on god and say god my help i need you and see how he comes through for you have a great day check you out again tomorrow